Okay, welcome to Songwriters Daily. It's uh, 30th August 2013. Now, so Songwriters Daily is a show to help songwriters. It's a show for songwriters, okay? So it's all about helping you, you the songwriter. Um, I love doing the show. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome to the show. It's on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It's a YouTube channel, of course. And um, it's all about the, the rules uh, of songwriting or the craft of songwriting, okay? Now, I work on five foundations. They are chord rules, uh, um, song form, song structure, and <clears throat> um, uh, lyrics, and then lyrical storytelling, lyrical storytelling, okay? All right, now today I'm working on uh, chord rules, and Wednesday I worked on chord rules, and today I'm working on chord rules, it's a continuation. Now, I want to sort of sum up what I've been doing over the last 60, 65 shows, today's the 66th show, over 65 shows, intermittently I've talked about chord rules. I want to sum a fair bit of up a fair bit uh, of what I've been saying up like this. Now, with your key, in, I've got it here in the key of C here. I've just got it in the key of C because there's no sharps and flats and makes it easy for people to, uh, to understand, but it applies to every single key you're in, whether it's a key of B flat, the key of A, the key of G flat, it doesn't matter, okay? Now, um, I put a, a big M up top, like C major, don't let that worry. You don't normally write a big M. You just leave it as C, and everyone knows that means major. But just for this, I've put a big M up there, a big M here, a big M here, right? Just to be saying uh, that it's a major for the sake of this exercise. Um, there's the B half diminished, uh, minus 7 flat 5. Um, and, and the little M here and here and here, that's minor, of course. Now... What I want to try to sum up here <clears throat> is basically what I call, I've gone through these individually, now I'm just going to give them in one big hit. Uh, I call this line here, pop gems. You see that? I call them pop gems. This line. And this line is a choice, basically I'm giving you how, what you can change this to. Because it's always major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, right? Now, but you have options to change these chords. And that's what I t show you in chord when I do shows on chord rules. So, or the rules of chords, right? So, now this line here is what you have the option to do. In the key of C, you change the D minor to D major. You change the E minor to E major. You change the F major to an F minor, and you change the G major to a G minor. Now, I call these pop gems. I call them pop gems, because they really work well in pop music, classic songwriting, hit songwriting, rock, pop, um, uh, you know, folk, uh, um, funk and um, power pop and uh, punk and so on. They're just killers, they're just unreal. I love them, love them, love them, and you will too when you use them. So that's the first line of changes that you do to your normal key. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminish. That's, this is the first choice of call. Now, or, or, or like, the, this is the choices, yeah, the first choices you'll go to. And now this here is also your first choices. And in this one, I call them Come Alives. Funny name, I know. Sorry about that. Uh, but Come Alives, there's no weirdness in there. It's just, it really brings songs alive. It makes them come alive. When you suddenly put in an E flat, an A flat, a B flat in the key of C, it really <clears throat> sends the shock into an, uh, I mean, the song into an awesome surprise, like an awesome Wow, this is kicking, this is alive, man, this is unreal. That's why I call them come alives, but by no means are they actually called pop gems or come alives. They're not. This is just what I call them. Don't let it worry you what I call them. Um, 
But the name gives you a feeling of what it'll do to your song when you use them. So in this case, the E minor here in the key of C, the E minor, it's always E minor, but in this choice, we're going to change it to an E flat. So it's, we're flattening. It's like you're bringing them back a semitone. You're bringing them back a semitone. So the E minor bring back a semitone becomes E flat, and you forget making it a minor. You just make it E flat major. I didn't write the capital M. I should have here, here, and here. I should have written a capital M. But I hope you get the flow. I hope I'm not confusing. So the E minor becomes an E flat major. The um, the A minor becomes an A flat major, right? An A flat major, and the B diminished becomes a B flat major. Now that's a killer. This B diminished is a very awkward chord, and not a lot of pop songs use it. Not a, not at all will I say don't use it, but a lot don't use it. If you want to, you 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 go right ahead, but a lot don't. So the big choice, one, the first port of call to totally change this and make it a bit of a surprise would be the B flat major. You make this B diminished go to a B flat major. Okay, so I'm showing you the whole map there, really. Every chord except for this one here has some change available. They're brilliant. I love them. I hope you really love them because they'll change your songwriting. First of all, even knowing that chord map is just brilliant to know that it's major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, right? Knowing that that's exactly what they are. That's the rules of the key you're in, in every single key. But then to have that first port of call, meaning your first choice of what to do to add real pizzazz to your songs, uh, you're not going to change them all. It will seem like you're into another key. But you, you choose one of them or two of them maybe, and you change those. Um, where you think's right, don't think every song needs this change. It doesn't. But they're your choices and they're brilliant, okay? I hope you're getting a lot out of this. I hope you're writing lots. I hope you're turning up to work every day because that's what we do, right? You're my brother. You're my sister in songwriting. That's what we're born to do for some reason. Who knows? That's the mysteries of of uh, existence or consciousness, but whatever's going on, for some reason we've been born to love to write songs. That's what you do. That's what you've been born with the love of. Keep watching this show. Get in touch with me. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I'll listen to your song or uh, explain further something that I might have been confusing on. And um, I just wish you everything. I... Um, I love writing so much, and I love that you love writing, and I want to do everything I can to help you as much as I can. And of course, helping you helps me, because it makes me keep seeing this beautiful world of songwriting. All right, thank you so much. I'll be back on Monday, ready to go again, and um, get in touch with me. And subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Let's rock. Let's rock together. Let's do this. Okay, bye-bye.